Hey everyone! Welcome to the Photography Masterclass. In this video of our Masterclass, we will be learning about focus in photography. One of the most critical aspects of photography is focus, the sharpness and clarity of the subject in your image. Have you ever taken a photo where the subject appears blurry, but the background is clear? Or vice versa? That's the result of poor focus control. But don't worry, in this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of focus in photography and show you how to master it. Let's start with an example. Imagine you're on a nature walk and come across a beautiful butterfly perched on a flower. You want to capture its delicate beauty and intricate patterns. To achieve this, you need to ensure that the butterfly is in focus while the background remains blurred. By doing so, the butterfly becomes the center of attention and the viewer's eye is drawn to it, creating a visually stunning image. That's the power of focus in photography. The focus plays a critical role in determining the overall look and feel of an image. A sharp focus on the subject can bring attention to it and create a sense of depth in the image, while a blurred focus can create a dreamy or abstract look. The depth of field, as discussed in our video about exposure, refers to the portion of the image that appears in focus, can also be controlled by adjusting the focus and aperture of the lens. Now let's learn more on this topic today. Focus and focal length are two key concepts in photography that work together to determine the look and feel of an image. Focus refers to the sharpness and clarity of the subject in an image. When a subject is in focus, it appears sharp and clear, while the background is blurred. The amount of blur in the background is determined by the depth of field, which is controlled by the aperture setting on the camera. Focal length, on the other hand, is a measurement in millimeters that represents the distance between the lens and the image sensor in a camera. It determines the field of view and magnification of an image. Lenses with a short focal length, wide-angle lenses, have a wider field of view and are great for capturing expansive landscapes and large groups of people. On the other hand, lenses with a longer focal length, telephoto lenses, have a narrower field of view and are great for capturing subjects that are far away, such as wildlife and sports events. The focal length of a lens also affects the perspective of an image. Lenses with a short focal length tend to exaggerate the distance between objects in the foreground and background, while lenses with a longer focal length compress the perspective and make the distance between objects appear smaller. So, in summary, focus determines the sharpness and clarity of the subject in an image, while focal length determines the field of view and magnification of an image and affects the perspective of an image. By understanding and controlling these two concepts, you can create images with the look and feel that you want. There are several different types of focus in photography, and each have their own unique characteristics and applications. Understanding these focus types and how to use them can help you achieve the desired focus in their images. Autofocus Autofocus is a popular and widely used feature in photography that allows the camera to automatically focus on the subject. The autofocus system uses sensors and motors to quickly and accurately adjust the focus and ensure that the subject appears sharp in the image. There are several different types of autofocus, including single point AF, dynamic AF, continuous AF, and 3D tracking AF. Single point AF allows the photographer to select a single focus point and focus on a specific part of the image. This is useful for capturing still subjects, such as portraits or still life images. To set this mode, set the camera to AF mode. Use the camera's menu system or external buttons to select single point AF mode. Use the directional buttons or the touch screen to select the desired focus point. Half press the shutter button or activate the focus button to focus on the subject. Dynamic AF, continuous AF, uses multiple focus points to track a moving subject and keep it in focus as it moves through the frame. This is useful for capturing action shots in sports or wildlife photography where the subject is constantly moving. To set this mode, 
Set the camera to AF mode. Use the camera's menu system or external buttons to select continuous AF mode. Half press the shutter button or activate the focus button to begin tracking the subject. Keep the subject in the frame and continue to press the focus button or half press the shutter button to keep the subject in focus. 3D Tracking AF takes the tracking capabilities of Dynamic AF a step further by using color information and subject recognition technology to track the subject and keep it in focus even as it moves. This is useful for capturing fast-moving subjects, such as birds in flight or athletes in motion. To set this mode, set the camera to AF mode. Use the camera's menu system or external buttons to select 3D tracking AF mode. Use the directional buttons or the touch screen to select the desired focus point. Half press the shutter button or activate the focus button to begin tracking the subject. In conclusion, autofocus is a convenient and effective tool for photographers who want to quickly and accurately focus on the subject. With the ability to track moving subjects and lock onto still subjects, autofocus allows photographers to capture stunning images with ease. Setting the different autofocus modes on a camera is a simple and straightforward process that allows you to take full advantage of the AF system and capture stunning images with ease. Now that you're learning about focus in photography, wouldn't it be great to continue growing your photography skills and knowledge? With new videos uploaded regularly, you'll have access to a wealth of information to help you improve your photography knowledge. By subscribing, you'll never miss an opportunity to learn something new and improve your craft. So, hit the subscribe button now. Manual Focus Manual focus is an alternative to autofocus, allowing the photographer to manually adjust the focus of the lens using the focus ring on the lens or by using a focus dial on the camera body. Manual focus is often used in situations where the camera's autofocus system struggles to find focus, such as low light conditions or when shooting through glass. It is also used by photographers who prefer to have full control over the focus of the lens, such as in macro photography or when creating selective focus images. To set manual focus, the camera needs to be switched from auto mode to manual mode, which can typically be done using a switch on the lens or by selecting manual mode in the camera's menu system or external buttons. With the camera in manual mode, the focus ring on the lens or the focus dial on the camera body can be adjusted to bring the subject into focus. Some cameras also feature focus peaking, which highlights the areas of the image that are in focus, making it easier to manually focus the lens. In addition to the focus ring or focus dial, some cameras and lenses also feature an electronic manual focus system. This allows you to manually adjust the focus of the lens using the camera's touch screen or a focus joystick on the camera body. Providing a more intuitive and user-friendly way to manually focus the lens. In conclusion, manual focus is a valuable tool for photographers who want to have full control over the focus of their lens. Whether shooting in low light conditions, creating selective focus images, or simply prefer to have control over the focus. Manual focus provides the photographer with the flexibility and precision needed to capture stunning images. Setting manual focus is a simple and straightforward process that varies depending on the camera and lens, so refer to the camera's manual or website for more information. There are also other types of focus techniques worth knowing. Zone focus Zone focus is a type of focusing mode in photography where the photographer selects a specific area of the scene, such as the top half or the bottom half of the image. And the camera will then use multiple focus points within that area to determine the focus. This mode is ideal for situations where there are multiple subjects in the scene, such as a street scene or a group photo. And the camera needs to quickly determine the focus without having to select a specific point. Here's how to set zone focus on a camera. Turn on the camera and navigate to the focus mode settings. This is usually found in the camera's menu or by pressing a dedicated button on the camera body. 
Select Zone Focus Mode. This mode may also be labeled as Group AF or Multipoint AF. Choose the size of the focus area. Some cameras may allow you to select a small, medium, or large focus area, while others may have a more specific number of focus points within the zone. Select the area of the scene that you want to focus on. You may be able to do this by using the touch screen or by using the directional buttons on the camera body. Take the photo. The camera will use the multiple focus points within the selected zone to determine the focus. It's important to note that not all cameras will have zone focus mode and the specific way to set this mode may vary depending on the camera. Be sure to refer to the camera's manual or website for more information on how to set zone focus on your camera. Selective focus. Selective focus is a focusing technique in photography where the photographer intentionally blurs certain parts of the image while keeping a specific area in focus. This technique is often used to draw attention to a specific subject or to create a sense of depth in the image. Selective focus can be achieved using a variety of techniques, such as using a shallow depth of field, tilt shift lenses, or post-processing software. Here's how to set selective focus on a camera. Turn on the camera and select the aperture priority mode. This mode allows you to control the aperture while the camera adjusts the other settings accordingly. Choose see low aperture number, such as f2 or f2.8. The lower the aperture number, the shallower the depth of field will be, and the more selective focus you will be able to achieve. Compose the shot and place the subject that you want to keep in focus in the center of the frame. Take the photo. The camera will adjust the other settings accordingly to produce a shallow depth of field, and the background will be blurred while the subject remains in focus. Selective focus is also sometimes referred to as bokeh, which is a Japanese word that refers to the quality of the out-of-focus areas in an image. This was discussed in detail in our previous video on exposure. In conclusion, focus and focal length are two important concepts in photography that determine the sharpness of an image and the angle of view and perspective. Understanding these concepts can help photographers create images with the desired depth of field, perspective, and subject isolation. And that's a wrap. Now that you have a better understanding of focus, in our next video, we'll explore the different types of camera lenses. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Before we go, a big thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more photography tips and tricks. Thanks again, and until next time, keep clicking.